Good morning. pick things up and put them down. Look at the squat on this thing. The half ton don't like the full pallet of barbed wire very much. I don't like it either when I carry one roll. Mm. That's all you gotta say about that. We're gonna take this to Storla Station. I've been kind of a delivery boy the last week. In total, we're bringing three pallets of barbed wire to Storla this week, or last week. So somewhat recently, they put these signs up right here, Dad. You notice them? It says Storla, four miles that way. And people also still don't know how to spell Storla. But That's it's, spelled right. Yeah, right there. I'd like to put a sign underneath it that says Station, but that's probably breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law, Storla Station. If you guys Speaking of are trying law, to figure out how to get to Storla the Station. The song of the day is not breaking the law, because that ain't that good a song. Go ahead. So if you're traveling Before on I-90, if you're traveling on I-90 and get to the Mount Vernon exit, you just take that exit and keep going about 12 miles north of Mount Vernon, South Dakota, and then you'll hit this sign that says Storla this way, and then you'll head west on 243rd Street, 243rd Street, about four miles, and then you'll see the town of Storla Station unless you blink. Song of the day happens to be Metallica, Enter Sandman. Watch, bing, the, bing, 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 watch bing. the video when they played in uh, Russia and the helicopters were flying over and there was guards everywhere and they were rocking and the place was going like bouncing. It was crazy. That's all I got to say. Bing, 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 bing. Over the weekend, Dad went out west and grabbed the rest of our calves. There's about 70 more right here that are getting weaned. Pretty fresh off the cow. Dad and I worked them yesterday, so the feedlots are getting full. After a while, we're going to split these guys in half. Some of them are heifers. They'll go out to the north feedlot. Some of them are bulls. Some of them are also steers, which the steers are going to go to Jeff's. Speaking of Jeff's, that's kind of what we're getting done today. Jeff has his pairs on pasture yet. We're going to go grab them, run them down the road, down the busy highway, and Hopefully everything goes all right. So we're loading up four wheelers, bring his home, split the cows off the calves, work the calves, put them in their feedlot. And then dad's also been piecing together a couple uh, feedlots full of critters over there that we're gonna work. He's got about 30 something head that we gotta work over there. Let's get these four wheelers loaded and run some critters down the road. What's the TV for dad? If I get bored. Oh. If I don't have enough to do in a day, I watch the TV. I see. Wet bird poo. Hello. Hi. So we're giving them the whole nine yards, they say. Yep. What do we got? So we're giving them a hormone implant. We're giving them the seven way black leg with Haemophilus and Clostridium. We're giving them the five way, which is IBR, BIV. BRSV, PI3, and Syncytical, and then we're giving them the Nasalgen, which is a spray in one cc in each nostril to give them the pneumonia protection right away. And we're pouring them for internal and external parasites. And then we're also cutting tags out. Yep. And if anything looks kind of sick, that's what we got the LA-300 for, which is an antibiotic. So we got doings. I got to do three things to them, and you got to do four. Mm -hmm. if, if you have to do everything. Plus, I got to throw the bar in. And, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I have to run the head gate, so. And Jeff's got to keep them flowing. Keep them coming, Jeff. We yeah. need more cattle. Yeah. What's up, Doc? I had a... What? It ain't funny. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm trying my hardest over here. Well, remember that time I said try harder? Remember no. that? No. Oh, okay, good. 
He really took exception to that when I said that that time. Oh, well, now I remember. You were just being a class A dickhead that day. What was going on was something was like this far away, and you're like, I can't reach it. And I said, well, try harder, and then I did it. So that's, that's the story. That's all sides. That's the story. Yep. Yep. Come on, pal. He has to run the camera too. Cole does. It takes video on the other side too. Oh, and, and, and Cole runs the camera too. <laughs> See how busy I am? Are we done? Uh, okay. You know what time it is? Slappy. Slappy time. So we're just starting to fill this feed lot. There's about 35 critters in here. This one fits about 200. So this Friday, Dad's gonna do a lot of buying online and just get the feed lots filled for winter so we got something to feed. Jeff owns this hayland right next to the highway, so we're just running them through there, keeping them off the highway. And then down there, there's a gate. We'll cut them across and start headed back west to Jeff's house. Looks like no traffic. That's good. Not trying to make ground beef today. Get on, little doggies. Get along. Come on, miss. Hey, 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 come on. Somebody blew an O-ring.
here are my calves. We weaned these a couple weeks ago. I just didn't get video of it. So there's my calves. They haven't had to treat one yet, so they're doing pretty good. Can it be? Schwann's root beer float ice cream bars. He never stops. So we're doing a quick short stretch of fence here. Going from this corner right here, stopping by about the truck over there. Corners up, they weren't the best posts. A lot, a lot of them had this big split in the middle, so that kind of sucks on a new fence. But we got that first wire hung. It's nice and taut. We'll lay out the posts and start tapping them in. out three wires to hang and tie up and we'll be out of here
fourth wire is really going to be down here in the grass. Yeah, and on the last post. Yeah, it's a long ways down there. Yeah. Yay! Them are some hard posts. <laughs> Got the hardwood. I see uh, when we do that piece, the tree's going to be kind of right there. Hmm. Oh, we got hay coming. So we did quite a bit of fence over here. We did a quarter mile right there. We did an eighth of a mile over there along those trees about a month and a half ago. And then we did from that corner and down to basically that tree down there. Another nice four barb fence. It's still pretty early in the season. It doesn't sound like the ground's gonna freeze anytime too soon. So it's possible this isn't our last fencing project of the year. We'll just have to see in the next couple weeks. Somebody wants perlets flying up here. So I think after today, all the calves are weaned, getting Jeff's done. Uh, everybody's looking pretty good. It's been, to be honest, a pretty great year. We've had very little health issues out in the pasture and in the feedlots. Calving season, you know, about seven, eight months ago was one of the best we've ever had. Probably the least death loss we've had in years. Just amazing. Now hopefully they can keep that going. Uh, do great in the feedlot, grow up a little bit, and start eating some corn. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We'd love to see you next time. Have a good one. So, Dad, a lot of people have been asking lately, when does fencing finally end? Oh. Well, that's easy. Same time the Vikings win the Super Bowl. When hell freezes over. <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. <laughs>